Welcome to this episode of Al's Garage. This is going to be the first in a seven part series where we will be doing metal work and welding and working with the body hammers on our 1943 Willys MB project. So we're gonna tackle our front bumper. There's a couple of things that we're gonna do. As you can see, the bumper is pretty crooked. Years of use have been not kind to it, and we're gonna try to straighten it out. They make reproduction bumpers that you get that are straight as an arrow, but we're gonna take a little bit of time and try to keep some of the original sheet metal to this vehicle. In addition, there's a little bracket here where the uh, grill is mounted, and we're gonna do that, uh, hammer that a little bit as well. Uh, you know, just some various stuff here, and uh, it should be hopefully a pretty easy job. Should only take a couple hours, so let's get started. So at this point I have the bumper off and it's pretty uneven at this point but I do want to get it more straight especially these areas that have gotten pulled out. So we are going to use a oxyacetylene torch to heat the metal up and pound it out. I don't have an oxyacetylene torch but my dad does so we are headed to dad's garage to get this bumper straightened out.
So we're back in the garage and I think we did a great job getting the bumper at least relatively straight. It's not going to be perfect, uh, or at least I can't get it perfect. Uh, obviously the torch helped in heating up the metal and getting it pounded out real easy. From here, I am going to do a little clean up on our bumper brackets as well as uh, this little component here needs to be straightened just a little. So we'll do a few of those little things. Uh, and then from there, the bumper, again, it's straight, but I need to do just a little bit more. Uh, and I, what I'm gonna do is actually take a crescent wrench and uh, take it the rest of the way as far as getting the top and bottom edges straight. From there, uh, there's a little bit of welding on the bumper that I'm gonna do uh, is from, from the uh, top right here. And then I'm gonna close up a few of these holes uh, that are in the bumper. Then, uh, I guess from there, I'm going to actually install it. Uh, it was, since this is a vehicle that gets flat towed, um, I'm not a huge proponent in just, you know, welding things that weren't originally welded. But since it's being flat towed and it's uh, something that I think would add safety to it, uh, I will be welding it back to these frame horns. Uh, and then from there we're going to uh, obviously clean this up beforehand and then the bumper will be back on. So I got new hardware for the tow bar where it meets into the bumper. What I'll also do is make a couple of plates that go behind which will add some strength. I think that when we're done here, this will be stronger than uh, it was when, when it came into the garage. So uh, I, I think that'll be a good thing. Then we'll uh, put it back together, uh, you know, clean up a few little more things, and I think that'll uh, close us out on this part of the job.
So now that I have the bumper fully on the Jeep, next step is to do a dry fit of all of my tow bar components. I'm going to use the plates that I created, put them back here, uh, and make sure that they fit uh, as well. One of the interesting things that I did, because obviously a lot of these parts look the same uh, from each of these little L brackets to the uh, tow bar reinforcement plates, uh, that's my name for them, <laughs> um, is when I ended up uh, finishing them, I took a punch and I punched each of these plates that I've created so that I know which one goes where. Obviously, I, I took a piece of paper and I drew out a little diagram saying this one goes here, this one goes here, uh, but then I, I punched them as well so that uh, once I get some paint on them, I can put everything back and not have to worry about does this go here, does this backwards, uh, so that should hopefully alleviate some of the time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, test run here and uh, that should hopefully complete our job. Well, that brings this job to a close. I didn't tighten these down all the way just because I didn't want to bring it full torque until I have everything painted and I'm doing final assembly. But I know that everything is going to fit. I'm not going to have a bolt somewhere that's not going to be able to punch through or anything like that. So I should be set as far as that goes. Like I said, I have this all marked, so I should be able to put it together pretty simple. And I think that this bumper area is done. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna have a lot more videos on this Jeep coming up. So pretty exciting stuff. Uh, thanks again, have a great day. Mm -hmm.